when you saw Lawrence Taylor, did you think that that was the next version of what, what Robert was at the time? I'll tell you something. Uh, Kenny Houston and Joe Delamalure, who were senior, came to the seniors meeting a few years ago. During a break, started talking about Brazil. I wanted the other guys in there to know what they thought. And Kenny goes, well, you know, he was LT before LT. And a lot of the guys that watched, played against Robert or watched him would say that. People, they go, oh, man, there's nobody close to Lawrence Taylor. And so Delamalier agreed. And so I was talking to Elvin Bethay, and I told him what Kenny Houston, and Joe Delamalier said. And he goes, that's true. He was. He was LT before LT. And I said, man, I wish I could get Lawrence Taylor to ask him about that. And he goes, well, you want me to get his number for you? And I said, sure. So I didn't go to Canton because I was at training camp and uh, for the induction ceremony. And I forgot about it. And I figured Taylor wasn't going to do it. And, and a couple of days after the induction, uh, Elvin Call said, here's uh, Lawrence Taylor's number. He said he'd be happy to talk to you. So I text him and don't even ask him to call me. He calls me back immediately. Turns out uh, Brazil was his idol. And Lawrence Taylor told his agent, Kenny, uh, Kenny Burrow's brother, Gene, that he would not sign with him unless he could introduce him. So Gene got Robert, and they went to Chapel Hill. This was before the draft, and he introduced him. And he, he told me, and this is what I used in both presentations, he said, he inspired me. He made me want to be great. He was me before me. And I think that's that was the last thing I said in both of my presentations. People don't see that because they don't see all the sacks because, number one, they didn't keep them. But, number two, Robert was so good in coverage. A lot of times he's covering wide receivers. I gave him a list of all the wide receivers and athletic tight ends he had to cover plus running backs. And people were kind of amazed that a guy as big as he was could do that. And I had a testimonial from Ted Thompson, who was his backup and captain of the special teams, how Robert played on every special team as well. So they call Robert, the phone rings three times, and I'm like, where in the world are you? He picks it up on the fourth one, and David Baker, president of Hall of Fame, goes, Robert? And he goes, oh, he just starts crying. <laughs> Robert, this is David Baker. I know, I know. <laughs> and he's just crying like crazy. And he just can't stop. And and I said, Robert, quit crying. I need some quotes. I gotta I gotta get something <laughs> in. So he's like <laughs> So I said, after they talked to him, I said, I'm gonna go outside and call you. I'm so happy for him, Robert. It's gonna be incredible. He's so pumped up. It's gonna be a big love you blue party. The night of his induction, Amy Adams Strunk is picking up the tab and I can't wait for his moment. <laughs> You're listening to Houston Sports Talk.